International Labor Day. Kilala natin sa May Day dito sa Amerika at Labor Day in the Philippines. And that is why we're going to be talking today about workers' issues, particularly an update for you on the case of our Kababayans who uh, were victims of a human trafficking uh, situation. Nympha Rueda, one of, I, I really admire this lady, works very hard, really a good journalist. Thank you for joining us once again on Kababayan Today. Thank you, Janelle. It's always a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. Nympha writes for the Philippine Daily Inquirer in the Philippines. You, you can catch all her stories. Very, very good uh, investigative journalist. And Nympha, you wrote a story on the domestic workers' bill. Let's just give a quick update on that. Sure. Um, they're celebrating right now, the domestic workers and their supporters, because the bill passed in the Assembly Employment and Labor Committee, and that's great. It's the first step, uh, and it's the first legislative action on the bill. And that in extends, uh, the bill basically extends uh, rights over time, a very basic, basic rights, right. overtime pay and breaks Rates. to domestic workers, which yes. are mostly uh, caregivers. Yes, out of the 200,000 Filipino, um, dom I'm sorry, 200,000 domestic workers in California, about 50,000 are Filipino and mostly caregivers. All right, so mm -hmm. good, good, good step for that. But also at the same time, I invited Nympha because not too long ago, a few months ago, uh, she, her, she led us to the story of our Kababayans who were promised uh, teaching jobs here in the States. And then when they got here, there were no jobs available to them. Nympha, right. uh, what is the story? What is the update now? Sure. Um, just a brief background. There are four, four of the 35 teachers, Cebu-based teachers, who were recruited by this employment agency. And when they got here, they found out they have a fraudulent contract, mm. and the, the petitioner schools did not intend to petition them. Mm -hmm. And so they ended up with this bill. You know, they had to pay for the placement fees. They had to borrow money, spend all their savings for nothing. And for a while, because in our culture, you know, embarrassment, they couldn't talk. They didn't want to talk. They were also being threatened and intimidated yes. by the recruiter. And then they finally spoke up. We had an interview with them on the mm -hmm. show. Um, and so what's going on with them now? Yes, it's been a year since they bravely came out of the shadows and um, uh, broke their silence. And now the, um, the recruitment agency is being investigated by the Homeland, um, Homeland Security yes. and the Department of Labor. And um, also um, the POEA in the Philippines um, is looking into the case. And um, also a T visa or T visas are being processed for the victims. All right, good news. First, two prong yan, dapat managot ang mga dapat managot. So it's good yes. that the recruiter is being investigated. Mm -hmm. Also, T visas for the victims. Uh, a, a brilliant Kababayan lawyer from Washington, D.C., also with a big heart who's helping these victims, uh, is joining us today uh, on the phone from Washington, D.C., Attorney Arnedo Valera. Hello and welcome to Kababayan Today. Oh, thank you. Maraming salamat for the invitation. And by the way, uh, a very meaningful International Labor Day sa inyong lahat yan. Okay. And, uh, yes? Attorney Valera, kamusta mm -hmm. po ang, uh, ang uh, T-Visas, ang pag-apply ng T-Visas para sa mga victims? Uh, right now, uh, I think let me start by uh, saying yung basic definition muna ng T-Visa and then give you an update. Yung T-Visa kasi, yan yung non-immigrant visa na sineset aside natin for those or who have been victims or who are victims of human trafficking. At willing sila na tumulong sa mga law enforcement sa investigation at prosecution ng acts of trafficking. Now, etong cases na binabanggit ninyo, uh, they were lured uh, with false promises of employment and a better life, kaya they took advantage yung kanilang uh, pagiging mahirap at yung lack of access. Uh, so ang nangyari dito, uh, they were brought here without employment. So right now, eto ngayon, we are now in the final stage of preparing yung filing nito. So maraming documentations dito, pero malinaw dito yung tinatawag natin na exploitation. Oh. What does the T-Visa afford uh, the victims and those who are granted the visa? Right. Yung T-Visa, the moment na ma-approve ka niyan, uh, you will be given initial period of four years. Okay. All right? So to that work? allows Yes, that allows you to work. At hindi lang yon. Ang mahalaga dito is after three years na may T-Visa ka, you can apply to become a permanent resident or oh, okay. your green card. Okay. So okay. napakaganda nito. And then 
because may priority ang U.S. government uh, under the Victims of Trafficking and Violence Protection Act, meron ding mga federal assistance yan, like yung uh, rentals or housing or some or, or some monetary compensation. So, okay. based on that. All right, attorney, uh, very quickly, how long is the wait? Well, if you file that, usually mga... From the date of filing, pag na fingerprint sila, you, you'll have to wait about six months or so. Okay, and then this is good. They've, they've waited. The case has been dragging on for a year a year now. And they've, they can wait, I'm sure, six more months. But if the pro, proposed immigration bill gets passed, how does that affect um, the probability of uh, our Kababayans getting T visas? Well, well, independent naman kasi yung uh, 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 comprehensive immigration reform bill. So I do not foresee any problem with that. In fact, may strengthen yon because yung mga hindi mag-qualify halimbawa, uh, they will be, uh, you know, allowed to apply for what they call as RPI, yung Registered Provisional immigra Immigration Status, na may bibigyan ka ng work permit at try to travel. Pero ang pinakamas mahalaga dito, uh, yung mga kababayan natin who will be coming out of the shadows, you know, uh, and then registered under the new Comprehensive Immigration Reform Bill at makakuha ng RPI, they will not be definitely exploited or subject to abuse na unlike na yon, they are in the shadows na nagtatago, so subject sila sa exploitation and labor trafficking. Well, thank you so much for explaining that concept to us today on the show, and thank you so much for helping our Kababayans. More power to you, Attorney. Maraming salamat. All right, that was Attorney Arnedo Valera. Siya po ang attorney na tumutulong, no? Yes. Pa, sa mm -hmm. mga... So, kaya nang sinabi niya, there's good news mm -hmm. for the Kababayans. What happened to the, you said th out of the 35, there were four. Mm -hmm. uh, what happened to the others? Do we have any news about them, or are they still in the shadows? They're still in the shadows. And so, hopefully, this new immigration bill will help them, as um, Attorney Valera was saying. Sana nanonood sila ng Kababayan today. Mm -hmm. Makita nila kung kayo po ay kasama dito at nagtatago. There is hope for you. You have to come out. You have to tell your story. Mm -hmm. Nympha, thank you so much for giving us a voice. Thank you. All thank right. you. And more power to you. Thank you. Entertainment Report, when we return, don't go away. Do you have a legal problem but don't know where to turn? The Asian Pacific American Legal Center may be able